Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. And here we are in the city of Malibu with the real-time mod. And it's going really, really well. We hit uh, Capital City, I believe, 30k in the last episode. We've been expanding up the mountain and I've got some plans as well for what we're going to be doing up over the other side of the mountain so don't forget if you're enjoying this episode hit the like button as well and also hit the uh, the b with a t-stone well, you see that at the end of the video hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you don't miss out on seeing a daily city skyline so let's come out of this and this is the area on the other side over here so we have been expanding up here at the moment and it's going nicely not too busy lots of people upgrading their houses which is nice to see we're still growing we're still earning money things are going well now over the other side here i would like to add in a cargo harbor i believe we unlocked that in the last episode yes cargo harbor um, I wouldn't do ferries just yet, but I will do those once we've unlocked a few more squares. I don't think we can unlock any more at the moment. No, we can't. Um, but if we unlock this one here, we get access to this lake and all of this down here. And we'd certainly add some ferries going up and down there. And a little thing across there, you know what I mean, waterway thing. <laughs> my brain one of these canal a canal through there and then ferries all the way around here and that would serve most of our city maybe another canal through this bit here as well and ferries down there would be good but yeah that's the plan hmm, maybe a canal through here so it can connect to that as well uh, maybe 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 but what we're going to do first of all is along here we are going to put in uh, i always pick flood wall instead of key i want a key through here and I want it nice and straight. Because that is the place where we can add in our cargo harbour and it will connect. So if we go any further along, it doesn't connect. But along here, it will connect. So that's good. Uh, let us flatten out this along here. So if we make that a tiny bit bigger, that a tiny bit smaller, we'll grab that height. And just scooch that back a bit. Let's just see how that's going to look. Yep, there we go. We'll delete that tree or two. So that's going to fill up to there and that grass will eventually go. We'll do some stuff to the ends. We'll sort of make it a bit more a bit more natural as time goes on. In fact, actually, let's just, while we're thinking of it, let's just take the mountain back a little bit. So we've got some room for growth. Oh, and I've accidentally taken the seed out again. Whoops. Let's just get that like that. Keep that line on. We can see what's going on. I just want the water to be up against there. There we go. And if we take that down a bit and just sort of do that, we can keep this the same height. How does that look? Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Is that going to go? Yeah, that should be fine. That will fill up now. I can take away any other little bits that we need as time goes on. Right, so let us add in. Where are we looking? In here. So I'm thinking Cargo Harbour. We'll come back to a normal harbour later. Um, And I'm going to have it over this side. Actually, let's just have a think. So that road comes up there. And that could then scooch down here and go into there. And then we've got space for a road system uh, and then when the cars go in and out i think they go in and out the same as the trains um uh, which is over here so we're going to go in there and come out there yes so they should go in on the left and come out on the right that's good so we can set up something with that good 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 so if we go, say, there, give it a little bit of space, and we're just going to turn that off for now. So they should go in the left and come out the right. That is what I'm thinking. And then we can add in here. Let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What do I want? These ones? Yeah, two-lane road one way. And if we have that go all the way along here, I'm also going to do that. Maybe to sort of... Where should we go to? Let's go to here first. <laughs> Could you click to that for me? That line there. That's the... Uh, no. Uh, uh. Seriously, you can't click to that line for me. 
Well, I don't know why it can't do that. That is really weird. Oh, uh, let's go to there. Whatever. Whatever. Um, and then if we go back like this, and then this road will lead off to wherever it's going to go. This is the one that's going to come in. And let's just run this road down here. We'll go for a slightly different type of road as we're heading into an industrial area. Four-lane road with a medium. Yeah, let's go for that one. And let's have a look. We want to sort of follow the terrain. Sort of naturally, if we can. It's a too steep. I'm hoping we can make it through here. Yes, we can. Oh, we've still got the lift up the terrain. Darn it. Okay, let's refund that road. Take it back. And turn that option off. Didn't mean to do that. I'm begging your pardon. Right. Let's try that again then. So we're heading down there. So are now we're going to get bridges everywhere. Is that what's going to happen? Uh, I'm not starting up that height. Right. I've gone down to normal height and it's doing it again. Okay. I'll come back and do that a little bit a bit later. Let's. Yeah, it's going to do it again. What's this option here? This is forces of elevated pieces. Hmm. I hate it when roads do this. It is something to do with this mod, you know. Could it never... It never used to do this. It would build... But if I click that, we're going to end up with... I want to go to about there. A weird, really high-shaped road. Is that going to have to curve around like that? And go around here. I'm going to have to manually go back. Oh, okay. There we go. Guess you're not going to do that bit for me. Up, oh, there we go. That's twice I've clicked that and it hasn't done it. Yes. Okay, thank you. I'm going to have to manually go back and fix that. And then that can go around to there. Wow, look at that. That is... Hmm. Interesting. Let's just delete that bit there. connect that up. Yeah, okay. I don't know, that's not too bad, actually. That looks like it fits in there like it should. Yeah, we'll go with that. This little bit here needs to go down a spot, doesn't it? Just a little bit. And this bit's okay. Do you know what? That's worked out alright. And then that's going to connect... Uh, it's got to connect to both of these, isn't it? So how are we going to do that? Um, that's going to come in and connect to there. Okay, let's just see if we can work something out here that doesn't look too freakishly weird. Let's change this, actually, before we do anything else. If we bring that in, I want that to come in straight. Yeah, let's delete. I want that to be a straight piece of road here. Which both of these roads can connect to. And then we'll go with that. Yes, perfect. There we go. So, let's grab our two-lane road, and if we can get that to go to there. Okay, that can go to there, and then go straight to there. And then this one can connect to there. Is that going to work? No. To there. And then if we turn off the turning left bit... Oh my goodness me, well that's going to go down, isn't it? Control H, same height as that... Yeah, there we go. That's fine. And then if we just use this here and grab the lane connectors, thank you very much, and do that, we'll say that one goes to there. So they're not crossing over each other, which is what we want. Uh, this one goes to there. Yep. And then these two should just go over there naturally anyway and pull over, get in each other's way and whatever. Yeah, okay. That's good. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take... That, and that, and that, and make that all the same height as that side. Yep. And that one there as well. Yeah, that's fine. And then if we sort of flatten that out in the middle. Like that. And then we can flatten this bit out over here. Carefully, so we don't mess up the water in front. And then, whoop, there we go. And then we can build on that. Let's take that down a little bit more. Yeah. I think that's okay. Then they can come in there, go round and leave, no problem. And then we'll have other stuff down here if we want it. Good. I tell you what we're going to do then. We are going to turn that on. Upkeep 1920. We should be okay with that. 
We should be okay. They're going to complain of no water and stuff any minute now because we have no water, no electricity. Let's just go straight up here and connect to there. And then for power, let's give this its own power. So if we plop that out here, will that connect? No, of course it won't. Yeah, there we go. Is that enough power for you? That should be. What's that going to cost us? 300? Okay. Yeah, there we go. So hopefully we'll start seeing some cargo stuff coming in. Now, I'd like to add in... Let's just move some of these. There we go. Do I have the ability to paint concrete? I do. Hmm. If I click that now, that's going to put concrete everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's right-click and remove that. Let's do brush size single... Oh, that's right. It does that weird thing, doesn't it? We need to cover up the path as well. Right, let's go a little bit bigger. A little bit smaller. I want to fill this in without coming around the edges like that. 28. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. Whoops. If we do it carefully, we should be able to. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. And let's get rid of these trees. Good. There we go. Looking a bit more like a cargo area. And then, hmm, let's have a look down here. Thank you very much for that helpful box. If we search cargo and have a sip of tea. Oh, yes, we've got all of these things. Some nice cargo harbour looking stuff. So I wanted to add in, I think. Oh, did they actually grow? Rather than just appear? They do indeed. There we go. Is that going to look like what I think it's going to look like? Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Oh, they're all the same, are they? Yes, they are. I was hoping they were going to be randomly different. Hmm, let's have a look. What else have we got? Oh, we got like a... What's that? Oh, and they've gone. Well, that was good, wasn't it? Thank you very much for coming. Hope you enjoyed your stay. We have these individual ones. Ah, these are the ones I'm thinking of. Do these need to... Shoreline required. Oh, what the heck's this? Space already occupied. Let's see if we can... Oh, we can put that over the top. What's that? Oh, that's quite nice. I like those. Um, unfortunately, we can't put it right next to there because of the rows. But over here, we've got... Seems got two of these. Are they both the same? Yes. So why is this building tile disappearing? Does this need to be marked as industry? And let's pause the game and then put those in. And let's see what happens with those. Oh, we have our first cargo ship coming in. Excellent. That is what we want to see. There we go. So that means this is already being put to use. Fantastic. There you go. You're going to unload some stuff whenever you're ready. Yep, there we go. Not much. But the stuff is unloaded. Yeah, there we go. And it's heading out. Let's have a look. Let's see where all these guys are going. So this guy is going to a mega store. He's going to original wood products. And that's interesting. That means we're not making enough trees if we're importing some forestry. You're going to the buy it all hotel and to continental. Yeah, we've got too much production of forest stuff. Tree stuff. And not enough trees going on. Oh, and this guy's just turned up. Let's see if these hang around. What we can do as well then... Yeah, I'm not too sure what we're going to do about this. Whether we can add some more of those. I hope these are going to stay. Um, and what have we got here? We've got our cargo containers. So we can sort of put some of these down. Oh yeah, they come out as random colours, don't they? So if we sort of go like this... And look like somebody sort of dumped a load of cargo containers at the end there. And then we can always put some more in the middle here. I did have... I did have some cranes and things like that, which I think would be fantastic to put in an area like this. Uh, and then if we leave a gap so the truck would go down the middle, or the inspector. You can imagine the inspector with his clipboard running around checking these things. Oh, they've stayed. That's good. These have stayed over here. Excellent. There we go. I could cut and paste these with the Move It mods, but then what would happen is we wouldn't get the, the different colours. 
I've noticed we've had a festival going on, which I quickly want to check before that's over to see what's happening. Do you know what would be, what would be good? Real-time mod maker. I don't know if this is possible, but to be able to click on here and take you straight to whatever's going on, what's looking good. Be it the festival or the opera house or whatever. Uh, where are we? We're over here. Oh, 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 saving. That's what's happening. Okay, let's see who's playing. Here we go. Oh, it's looking pretty packed. Uh, yes, it is pretty packed. Lily, uh, Elijah Motti is playing. What are we doing with popularity? Oh, Nestor lost some popularity. Lily LaRue zero. Uh, you know, we're, we're slowly creeping up. Not as fast as I would like. How is the alternate festival area doing uh where the heck is that I now all the names aren't the names that i'm used to i get lost in my own city here it is well it's running but i don't think there's anybody in here fan zone five people yeah it's not there's not enough people to come and use the fan zone so hey ho never mind oh this is getting nice and busy this is good this is good let's have a quick look what else have we got in here that i could possibly put down here <laughs> what is this the Husan W2 cargo ship? I mean, we could have this guy, like, up against here. Uh, building must be placed inside a park area or roadside. What? Okay, I've just tried anarchy. It won't let me pro place it. Prop and tree anarchy won't let me place it either. Okay, forget it then. You're not getting placed. I don't care. Right, let's have a look for a crane. I'm sure I've got a crane or something in here. Do, 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 do. No crane, apparently. Oh, okay. Maybe I need to have a look around for some more... Yeah, some more bits and pieces that we could perhaps put in at an area like this. But I'm really pleased that it's working and getting busy. The only thing we want to be careful of... Let's follow this guy. Let's follow this guy like this, up and over the mountain. Is I want to make sure that it doesn't get too busy up the top here. What a road to drive up if you're a truck driver. Up and that'd be really cool, wouldn't it? Nice steep mountain pass road. <laughs> Looks really good as well. Quite a lot of people keep asking what's like the the LUTs that I'm using and the map and all of that. It's all linked below. Oh, I've got. Did I have proper tree anarchy on? I seem to have trees in my path there. Maybe I'll check that. So here we are attaching ourselves to the main road. Very good. The junction to the main road, I should say. I just want to see what it's like going up through the town. Uh, what's this? We've got a little junction here. Is that a little turnaround road? I forgot about that. Oh, wow. It's getting really busy over here. It must be the whole of this side of the city is now deciding that they're going to come down here. Oh, look at that view of the city. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. I'm loving that. People are parking their cars there. You might need to stop that. There we go. Straight over the lights. Now we're coming through our little mountain top plateau area and coming down. Look at that lorry. He's like really <laughs> closing up. Oh, even though there's cars parked on the side, they still use both lanes. Look, so it doesn't really matter, does it? No, I think it looks okay. Oh, this is a oh there's the one of the cable cars. So we're still in the mountain area. This road's pretty long, isn't it? But even though it's pretty long, they're still happy to use it. Oh, stuck in a bit of traffic. Come on, beep beep. Let's move it. Keep on going. I want to follow him and see where he goes into the city. Why not? Let's let's enjoy the journey. We don't often do this, do we? I, I always see tons of comments. People saying, do a first-person journey through the whole of the city and follow somebody to work and do all those different things. So let's, let's follow this truck. I didn't actually look as to where he's going, did I? Oh, we're coming up to a roundabout. Let's see how well this works. <laughs> truck in front bouncing around a lot, isn't it? Yep, seems to be working well. That's it. You just barge in front. Don't mind me. Oh, we're getting a bit of traffic here. Another junction. Hmm. I think we're heading off to where we've got our... Oh, yeah, after you, mate. Good grief. I think we're heading off to the... <laughs> what a view. <laughs> Welcome to City Skylines, where we stare at the back of a truck thing is if i come out of that view oh it's still going to put us on the back of the truck yeah we're heading into where the tram is that's it along here so let's zoom out a bit so this might get a bit busy oh you've got no water okay let's just fix that and then i'm going to take a look at this oh 
yeah, sorry about that, folks. There we go. Let's have a look at the traffic view. Yeah, this is going to start getting busy, but it's okay. It's busy, but it's not too bad. So we came down there. Yeah, so two junctions quite close together. I was hoping, unless they're particularly going to somewhere in here, they'll stick on the main road. This is busy, but it's still moving nicely. Let's have a look at up here. Uh, this, we don't really need these traffic lights here at the moment, do we? Because we've got nothing down there. So, in fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. is We're going to look at this one and do adjust roads. No, junctions and toggle those traffic lights. Just so you can keep moving. Uh, traffic. Yeah. And this is going nicely as well. Well, that's a surprise. I wasn't actually expecting this to kick in so quickly and to be used. So that is really good. So it must be lots of people this side of the city are now going to start using the cargo harbour. Why are we struggling for trash again? Garbage processing status not enough. Do you know what? We probably don't have anything for this side of the city. So let us put something halfway up the mountain here. Can we branch off of one of these roads and just put some here and then they can head head off down here? Would that be too far away? Maybe. Some of these buildings actually look quite good down in the cargo harbour, wouldn't they? Let's put an incinerator. What's the... Yeah, let's put an incinerator down here. Let's just grab a small road. Uh, off of here, perhaps. We've got that one going up. It's just not going to work. So if I've got this one on and it's saying build the road up to match, shouldn't it do it? Mm, something like that. Yeah, that will just do for now. Hopefully, if we just stick one of these on. Yeah, hopefully that will do for now anyway, just to help with this side of the map. Uh, can I put that in somewhere? And then I'm going to move it, mod it under the road yay there we go great tip whoever gave me that tip thank you very much that was a fantastic tip and do you know what i'm going to do down here as well let's speed things up for the night i'm just wondering whether to add oh man this is getting super busy whether to add another one of these look how much money we're making but if we add another one i know what will happen they'll prioritize this one and skip the other one we've had that before let's just have a look at our Money making on the industry. Always going up nicely. Let's take a quick look, actually. Let's head back over here. Let's not add another industry area in. Let's just take a quick look at the forestry. Yeah, Zintac Forestry. So there was stuff coming in to come over to this for that's like all the way over the other side. They're coming in there, driving all the way through the city to come to here, which is odd. You'd think they'd come through the highway for stuff there. So I'm just wondering whether we could expand this forestry area. I think that would probably be a good idea. Uh, what have we got here? Let's just have a look. So these have got some forestry on, and we can connect up to that. Yes, let's do that. Where is the roundabout? The roundabout's there. We've got this road going through. Let's make this road a bit bigger. I'm going to go for the small four-lane road. And that's coming off the highway. There we go. And then we're going to have this one. Let's just close that down. Uh, that one. And then we're going to have this one coming through here. Which is going to mess up that path, but that's fine. We can add that back in again. Like that. Yep, there we go. That's good. So now we've got this main route through here, which is going to come to this forestry area over here. Let's just... Hmm. I mean, they're all a bit winky-wonky, these squares, aren't they? They're not really the way I would do them. <laughs> Trucks are already coming here to turn around. So I'm just thinking for now, we'll leave it as it is. Let's get some water coming down here. Uh, yeah, let's go like that. And then let's come off of there. That would do. And then we need a little bit more down here. And just sort of fill this square up and see how it goes. Now, I normally do like 
these gravel rows for forestry. So let's give that a go. And let's come through the middle there. And that should be plenty. Uh, and if we include that in this zone, which is marked as forestry, yep, then this will immediately become forestry as well. And we could even spread out and take in that one and take in this one and just have all of this as a big forestry area. I think that might be a good idea. So if we then bring this road up to there... Okay, let's come 90 degrees off there myself. No, that ain't going to work. This is all a bit weird here, isn't it? Because these are all at a funny angle. And then if we upgrade this through road... There we go. Oh, we've got a train line. Mm, can we go up and over the top? Probably not enough room. Slope too steep. No, okay. Let us... Can we put train line back in? We can make trains, can't we? Yes, what am I talking about? So let's take that out. Connect that to there. And then just have our train go over the top. I think that would just be a lot easier. Uh, what do we want? Two lane both ways. Yep. So if we go... Page up. Is that going over or what? What's going on? Is it because of this? Yes, it is. Page up. Over and down. Yep, that'll do. Nice, nice, nice. And that's going to connect up to there as well. And then if we do a similar thing here, we'll have this road going through the middle. These shouldn't get too busy, these areas. Nope. No. Come on now, game. There we go. And we'll do this one going that way. And we've got this one going. Let's go from here. Yeah, I think at some point I'm going to redo these squares. They're all a bit winky wonky, as I like to say. They're not they're not the shape I would expect. And then let's fill in some of these in the middle. And see if we get some forestry industry popping up. Hopefully we will. And we just need to make sure they're going to get electricity. So let us grab one of these. Uh, we'll put it there, and then we'll just move that under the road. Yeah, there we go. That will jump across there. We've got some need for industry. So hopefully... Yeah, hopefully that will start filling in, and that will maybe take care of some of the... I'm not going to fill in any more for now. My goodness. Oh, there we go. Look, they're moving in. My goodness, it's getting so dark. I'm just going to skip to the uh, morning. There we go. The sun is coming up. We do have some forestry buildings moving in, which is fantastic. So that'll be good. If we get some more forestry product, that'll help us make some more money as well. We get some more forestry trees being made. And if we need to get some more processing, we can sort of add it down here in some of these roads or remove the trees and add it into there. So actually, that's filled up quite a lot. Let's maybe get some more of these going down here we may as well as there's as there's need there we go let's do that one there ping and just make sure that is over the trees yep so all of this is fine good that's okay i don't mind it sort of being a bit higgledy piggledy it sort of adds to the look doesn't it and we could always add a cargo train station over here because the nearest one we've got passenger train there yeah because we've got a lot of cargo a lot of production and whatnot going on over there the nearest one is all the way over there or is there another one i can't remember yeah over here somewhere yes there so do you know what that might be a good idea as we actually have a train station here we could add it off of this road look that's like a perfect spot for another cargo train station uh, i was on the trains already i always look at these and i think that one should be train looks like and then this one looks like it could be train as well Duh. You think I've played the game long enough that I would know cargo train terminal, where all these things are, but nope. Welcome to Gaming with Biffa. Um let's put it let's put it here and then we'll see We'll see how busy it gets and whether we need to whether we need to do something about that. Actually no, let's move that along a bit. Let's move it along. Let's move it along to there. And then see if yeah, everyone's happy. And then see if we can attach... Hmm, we don't really have a bypass going on here. That's the thing I'm sort of I'm in and I'm in about. Uh, let's take that out. 
and sort of go like that. Yeah, let's connect this up and then we'll see about sticking a bypass in. Um, if we bring that one straight, but then go up. And go straight over the top of all of that. Yeah, I'm going to put that in. Thank you. And then connect to down here somewhere. Oh, I love it when it does that. And we'll sort of make this look a bit more like a proper train line. Let's just make sure that's connecting okay. Yeah, there we go. And then we could still have this one here as a bypass. Could come and connect down there. So if we take this one here... And sort of go underground. And then go straight along to here. And then page up. No, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go underground a bit. Let's delete that bit there. So that's going to come along here. Then it's going to go page up. Yep, yeah, and then it can connect onto there. Let's do that. Let's do the move it mod. Zippity doo dah. Yeah, it's actually not too bad, is it? Let's go. Yep, there we go. Excellent. So that's your bypass under there, and then the main one goes over there. Well, let's see how that works. That should be good. Uh, we could just sort of connect this up here. I mean, the roads here are terrible, but I'm just going with what we've got. And I don't want to sort of change it all up unnecessarily. Uh, let's see if we can put that and connect those together. Yeah, that's fine. I reckon that will start getting used. Let's get you some water, my friend. There we go. Oh, and I bet this hasn't got water down here. No, let's fill all of this in. And with that over there as well, I reckon they will start expanding. Which is good. We want them to do that. Uh, yep, yeah, let's fill that in. I think that is everybody with water down there. Yeah, look, they're all growing. Nice. Excellent. That's really good. And we start making some more money. We've expanded our forestry industry. Perfect. I'm liking that. That is attached to the road, isn't it? Yes, it is. Very good. So let's head over here and see how this is going. This is getting super, super busy. This is super busy. Super, super busy. That's what we want to see. Excellent. Well, if you've enjoyed this one, don't forget to leave a like. Hit the big B with the tea stain to subscribe as well to be back here tomorrow for the next episode of City Skylines with the Real Time Mod. And thank you very much for all of your support. That's greatly appreciated. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.